People who teach kids are often looking for new and exciting ways to help kids remember to pay attention and follow instructions as they teach. I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoy Jesus, and I want to show you how to use this fun little critter to help kids remember to follow your classroom rules. I developed this little creature as a way to help kids see how they're doing in following instructions. You just put a craft stick, I think is what these things are called, or a popsicle stick, whatever, and then you put a clothespin, super glue that on there, or hot glue gun it on there, and then give it a couple of googly eyes. Once you've got that made, you take it and show it to your class, and you let them help you name it. That's a whole lot more fun. So let's pretend we name this one. What do you guys want to call it? Well, let's, let's call it Onesimus. This is Onesimus. And Onesimus' job is to help you see how well you're doing following the rules. Onesimus is going to sit over here on the table, but when I notice that people are doing a really good job following our rules, whenever I see Susie sitting up really super straight, or Jillian remembers to raise her hand, or Antonio remembers to keep his hands to himself, well, then I'm going to pick Onesimus up and clip him to my shirt collar. And that's where he'll stay as long as people are following instructions. But if people aren't following instructions, like I see a couple people, they're not paying attention to the teacher, they're talking back and forth, or people aren't following instructions well, well, an SMS is gonna hop off, boing, and go back down on the table. This helps kids see how well they're doing. You could even take it up a notch and say, if Onesimus is still on my shirt collar at the end of our class today, that means everybody gets a prize as they leave, but you only get this prize if Onesimus is here and not here. So make sure you're following our classroom rules really super fantastically, amazingly well, because I'm watching and Onesimus is gonna help me keep track of how well you're doing. Now, obviously you can't always give prizes to kids. Sometimes I just tell the kids, if Onesimus is still here on my shirt collar, then we're gonna vote on a new name for that we can use on Onesimus next week, or I'll let you pick the last song, or I'll let you pick the last game that we play. Something like that. You can also make a couple of these things, maybe a pink one and a blue one, or an orange one and a purple one for the boys team and the girls team. Put one on each side of your shirt collar so the kids can compete. And it's like, oh, well, the boys is down here, but the girls is up here. The girls are winning. And that'll help the boys kind of, ooh, we need to take it up a notch. Or it doesn't have to be boys versus girls, just different teams. If you have a small class, you could do one for every child. If you happen to not have a shirt collar, like I do, maybe you're wearing a t-shirt, you could wear a lanyard. In fact, you could just attach one of these things. You don't even have to clip it. You could just attach it to a lanyard, hang it from the lanyard, and take the lanyard off, put the lanyard on. I've also sometimes put it down on my shirt, uh, the bottom of my shirt. I hope you found this short video clip to be helpful. If you did, please take a minute to like this video. If you haven't already, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website, kidsenjoyingjesus.com, where you'll find more resources and ideas to help you have fun as you teach kids and share the love and joy of Jesus.